Hey everyone, in this video we'll show you how to draw the graph of a formula using a table. So suppose we want to draw the graph of the formula y is equal to 2x minus 3. Well, we first have to draw a grid. But what are the values we should put on the y-axis? If we're not careful, the entire graph might not show up at all. To determine what to put on the y-axis, we first compose a table. So let's draw the lines of the table. In the first row, we'll put all the values of x. And in the second row, we fill in what the corresponding values of y should be. Now, our formula was y is equal to 2x minus 3. And if we look at the first entry in our table, it's minus 3. If we substitute that for x, we find 2 times minus 3. Don't forget to subtract minus 3. And now we can calculate. 2 times minus 3 is equal to minus 6, minus 3, which gives us minus 9. So if we put that in our table, this will be the first entry. The second value of x is x is equal to minus 2. Now 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. Don't forget to subtract 3. And the final value will be minus 7. Again, put this in our table. And finally, we'll calculate minus 1. So substitute x is equal to minus 1. 2 times minus 1 is equal to minus 2. Subtract 3, which will give us minus 5. The other values can be calculated similarly. So we'll just fill them in. If we look at the second row, we see all the values of y. They range from minus 9 to 5. So the should values on the y-axis on the left should include at least these values. Now let's be a bit generous and say we'll go from minus 12 to 12. Now we have to determine where to draw our first point. The first entry has the value x is equal to minus 3. So let's move our point over to x is equal to minus 3 and the y value is given by minus 9. The second point should go to minus 2, and y is equal to minus 7. The third point should go to x is minus 1, and y minus 5. And again, we can simply draw the other points similarly. Now looking at these points, we, can, we see that if we connect them, we would get a line. Let's remove the points, and this is our final answer. We have drawn the graph of the function y is equal to 2x minus 3. Can you use what you learned in this video to draw the graph of this formula? Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in another Bolster Academy Explains video.